Hi, I'm Jordan, Head of Account Management and Kick Dynamic, and today's Feature Friday, we're talking about countdown timers. Now, they are used pretty widely, um, in some cases brilliantly, and in other cases, there's a lot that could be done better. So today, I want to share with you this example from Radley, which I think is a really, really great example. Now, on my screen, you can see um, a screenshot of this timer. Obviously, in the inbox, it would be ticking. Um, but actually, what I want to talk about is using timers most effectively. So Radley are talking about their VIP treat, £20 off when you spend £100. Now, their offer was valid when I opened this email for one hour, 40 minutes um, remaining, and the 20 seconds would obviously tick down and the timer would tick in the inbox. However, what I want to talk about is what happens when that offer expires. Now, often we see a lot of countdown timers that once they hit zero, um, they just remain at zero, 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 zero. There's not a whole lot of meaning around them. Um, but you can actually, when they hit zero, use those timers still effectively by changing the image, which is exactly what Radley did here. So you'll see that the offer in the email has changed. So when the timer hit zero, it changed to a just missed it message. So you're giving customers a really relevant experience. They've opened after the sale, but they've got this win back message to say, go back to the website. There's plenty more styles that you'll love online. Just because you've missed this sale doesn't mean your opportunity to engage with our brand and buy something you love is over. It's not really nice um, to swap the timer to a win back message and include a nice call to action to say shop now. This is in the real estate of the email. It's right at the top. So even if you have missed that offer, you're getting a really nice customer experience in the inbox. Um, we often see timers kind of just left um, on zero. We really, really encourage our customers to change that to a win back message to really optimize the performance of timers. Um, and on, on the um, topic of performance, what can you expect from a countdown timer? Well, typically customers see around a 10% increase in click-through rates, that's pretty standard. Um, we always say to split test to um, measure how effective they are. Um, and typically it's at least 10% increase in click-through rates. Um, and we often see actually a lot more revenue for countdown timers. So potentially around a 30% increase in revenue. Um, um, and often more orders, so circa 10% more orders. Um, and interestingly, we often see an increase in average order value, so around 20% increase in average order value. So they are something that are seen a lot in the inbox, but they really, really, really do work well. Um, but our top tip of the day is to be more like Radley, and if you're using a timer, switch it out to an after message to give your customers a really good experience, stay relevant, and you know, cash in on those um, long tail opens that maybe would have opened an email with a timer at zero and jumped straight back out of it. Putting that call to action where the timer is, is a great way to engage them and get them clicking through.